the windbags used to be all right. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Ain't much kid can handle with hammer and bow in hand. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. The melting pot. Place hoarded all sorts of fineries from beyond the boundless sea. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on a squirt. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Blasted things hurt like a broken heart. Figures it ought to be deeper down. Core stuck inside one of those fancy cages. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. He throws a switch. Now, what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All Kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Not every squirt's born bad. Some spring to the Kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Scumbags don't take kindly to interlopers. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Birdie pop that mean old foreman. At this rate, maybe five more minutes, maybe thirty, hard to tell. Squirts get real territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. It ain't all bad, as the kid finds some spices from the motherland, tax-free. One thing's for sure, that cage is awful heavy. Give or take a few seconds. 
Finally, the core's within reach. And done. He's got it. Just gotta get to the nearest barge. I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Folks voyage crossed the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. The sundown path. Lovely place for a stroll, before the calamity that is. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure though. But then, somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. So could a reckless kid, for that matter. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. Stray valuables are lying everywhere. Kid thinks twice about risking his high at Fort Mill. Well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors no more. Security's all fired up. See, the path was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Not so much for noise and tomfoolery. Quick and careful is the only way to go. Sky bridges link the path together. One of them bridges whips the kid along. Finds a spyglass, like the ones they'd use to search the stars. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is, who else could have taken the core? Well, ain't no 
no survivor stole the thing. Scumbag ate it by mistake. Tough break. Unlike the kid, that core ain't coming back. to ship live munitions down the path. He's wise to toss those things plenty far away. Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky when you wake them up. In all this toil, Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. Mm -hmm. The dead.